Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into my productivity system. So how I get things done, I'm gonna dive into the different apps and tools that I use on a daily, weekly basis. These tools I love because it's helped me simplify, streamline, get more of the right things done, less of the task switching, and it's overall just changed my life. Some of these tools I've been using for years and others are a little bit newer, so I'm really excited to talk about them with you all. I'm gonna break it down into different categories, from browsing to security, communication, organization, content, all of that. So without further ado, I say that every single time, without further ado, let's dive in. The first tool that I'm going to dive into is my browser. I don't use Chrome and I don't use Safari. I use a tool called Arc and it is a game changer. If you're one of those people that has a bajillion tabs up on your screen and you never close out of them and it's kind of just like an organized chaos, then you might really love Arc. It's a completely reimagined browser. Instead of having all of your tabs across, you have a really nice sidebar. You can swipe through different spaces. So I can have a personal space, a workspace, I can have folders, nested folders, and there's just something about it being vertical that just works better for me. I can also pin the websites that I use on a more frequent basis. It works better than having a bajillion things bookmarked. It's things that are not out of sight, out of mind. I feel like anytime I had bookmarked something in the past on Chrome, I never referenced it again. So with Arc, it's just super clean interface. Also, it has a temporary tab. So anything that I'm searching throughout the day, that's just not anything that I need to refer back to. It'll clean the slate every single day and anything that's important you can drag up above the line. Besides the tab management and the different spaces to separate my personal and my work life, I also really love the split screen. It's really easy to just put two windows side by side if I'm trying to reference a couple different things at once, if I'm multitasking. It also has a picture in picture feature so if I'm watching something on YouTube but I want to flip to a different screen I can do that and it comes down into my window. Basically I very rarely have to leave the arc browser window, unless I'm using a separate app like Notion, which I could access Notion in Arc, but I just love Notion's app and prefer it in that way. So download Arc, it's free, it's amazing. I love it so much, it's game changing. The next app I wanna talk about is my password manager. It's called 1Password. This tool is clutch for me because I want a secure digital life. And I used to use the same password a million different times and it was not very secure. And with an online digital business or anyone who's doing things online, banking, like literally all of our stuff is online. It's really important to protect our stuff. And 1Password makes it super easy for me to make super crazy long passwords that I could never remember. These are all individual unique passwords and it's saved. It autofills on my phone, on my computer. I never have to remember passwords again. I can also save secured notes. So if I wanna jot down more important things like my global entry number or my like sky miles number, I can also save all of those things there as well. It's great, highly recommend it. And I believe there's a free version. I might be on the free version. I really don't remember, but it's worth it. Protect your stuff. Now we're gonna move into communication. So the app that I use for email is Spark. I've mentioned it many times before. And let me tell you, I have tried so many different email apps and I continue to test different email apps. I just signed up for Superhuman again and canceled again because they don't have a unified inbox. There is just like, it just does not work for me. I keep coming back to Spark. Spark does most of the things that I need in the best way compared to other apps that I've tried. So with Spark, you can have a unified inbox. If you have multiple different email accounts, you can just view them all in one. You can archive everything all in one. Super easy. Spark also screens any new senders that come into my inbox. It'll show up top new senders and I can choose whether to accept that sender into my inbox or block them. And this comes in handy, especially if you get a lot of spam or for me, I get a lot of mass PR emails that I never signed up for, things that don't even apply to me, things that are not even addressed to me, and you can't really unsubscribe to them. I can just block, 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 and it's really easy. I've customized hotkeys to make it really easy to mass archive 
mark things as done. If you're curious about how I get to inbox zero, I will link below a video where I declutter my digital and show you my strategy for getting to inbox zero. I get to inbox zero all the time because of Spark and it is very satisfying. There's many reasons why I love Spark, but the last feature I wanna highlight is its collaborative features. So if you work with other people, if you wanna collaborate on a draft before sending it, or if you wanna like talk down below, you can message back and forth under the thread to talk about how you wanna handle certain things. That's very helpful because we use it all the time for work. Another tool that I use for communication daily during the work week is Slack. Slack definitely helps with cutting back on unnecessary back and forth emails. So I use Slack with my team. We send our weekly updates in there. We have different channel for the home buys, which is my small business. We plan newsletter content for the Jules Acre side of the biz. We're in there chatting every day all the time and it's just really awesome and collaborative, but you can also take video calls in there. Sometimes we'll do little voice huddles if we just have a quick 10 minute sync on something. It's great. The next category of tools we're gonna dive into fall under organization. This is the meat of this video because this is how I actually take all the thoughts in my brain and put them into action. What do you think the most obvious tool I'm going to share is that's like the most game-changing tool ever? Notion. I have talked about Notion so much. I have an entire playlist of videos on why I love Notion, why it's literally my everything. Notion is an all-in-one system for organizing your life, your biz, your anything you want, Notion is that. So I'm very grateful to Notion for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Notion. It's truly such a joy working with the Notion team because you all know how much it has changed my life. Notion really speaks to me in being able to take all of these ideas and put them into a system to actually get things done. I can build my own systems. So that's why I've created so many different templates in Notion that work for my brain and thankfully have worked for so many of your brains as well. So I appreciate anyone who's ever purchased one of my Notion templates. While Notion can feel intimidating at first because it's literally a blank canvas with so much possibility. It really helps starting with the template. That way you can start to learn Notion and how it works. I get the question all the time of how did I get into Notion? How did I learn it? I literally sat down on a Saturday, set aside five hours of just going down a rabbit hole, watching videos, playing around, just using it and learning the tool. And once it clicked, boy did it click. Then I started moving my entire life into Notion. So on the business side of things, I use it for project management, task management, roadmap planning, like anything that's goal oriented, North Star, I have it all in there. I have databases, folders within folders, pages within pages of work that we collaborate on as a team. And again, I have an entire video on how I organize my biz in Notion, so I will link that video as well. Beyond business, I also do a lot of life in Notion, so I track all the Korean dramas that I've ever watched and I rate them and I review them and I have that list I can share with you as well. I save my favorite recipes in Notion. I have an entire wiki of acre life between me and my husband where I document all of the different insurances that we have for our current house, our past house that's now our rental, for our cars, like anything like that. I just have it all organized. It's beautiful. I feel very happy looking at it and I actually recently revamped our acre wiki because we're now planning for baby and the nursery. So I've been doing a lot of planning in there. Anyways, if you still haven't tried Notion, then I will link below where you can learn more, get started, check it out, try it and just give yourself a chance to play around with it and see what happens. If Notion is Batman, then Google Calendar is my Robin. It is what I use to visually see my day, my week. I'd love to say I have a great memory, but if I don't have something in my calendar, it's not in my brain. So I use Google Calendar to plan my most ideal week. The obvious is keeping track of meetings, whether they're virtual or in person, but also I put my deadline on there. I have everything color coded. So if you've been with me for a while, you might have seen my how I organize my Google Calendar video. I still pretty much use the same system from that video that's like three years ago. I still have my 
creative in potato days. I still time block. It looks a little bit different than it did those few years ago. So maybe it's time for an updated time blocking video. Let me know in the comments if you are curious about that. Today is Wednesday and it's a filming day, which means tomorrow, Thursday is gonna be a potato day, which is my favorite. I love potato days, which basically just means I can relax, don't worry about filming anything. I can just be in the weeds on my computer and it's a glorious day, I love it. But I also love creation days because creating is fun. In Notion, you'll see that I do a lot of project management and task management with my team. But when it comes to more of the granular personal to-dos or reoccurring tasks, then I add it to my Google Calendar. And I love it because I can see kind of all the tasks each day that I didn't get completed, it rolls over. The next app in the organization category is GoodNotes. GoodNotes is a PDF annotation app, which just sounds really boring, but you can do so many amazing things in there. I mostly use GoodNotes for journaling. So I have a digital journal that we created on the Homebodies, which is called the Vision OS Journal. We are so proud of this. And it's been such an amazing tool for me to get into the habit of daily journaling. Even if it's just an emoji that day or a few words or just like a picture. I love how accessible it is to just being able to quickly jot down how the day went and also having space to write more long form if that is what I am craving that day. Journaling is one of the ways that I express myself, reflect, organize my thoughts, and I find a lot of clarity by the end of my journaling sessions if it's, especially if it's like a long one and a deep one where I'm just like <laughs> letting the words flow out of my head onto the digital paper. So I highly recommend checking it out if you enjoy the pen to paper feel, but you like the idea of keeping notes more digitally and being able to add photos and mementos and things like that, consider a digital journal. The next category we're gonna talk about is content creation. I use Final Cut Pro for long form video editing and sometimes I use it for reels. I've been trying to get better about taking some of my more long form content and turning that into reels instead of shooting on my phone from scratch. Since I shoot typically pretty wide, I'm able to crop in and it still looks pretty good. Final Cut Pro, I think is just really user friendly, but it's not perfect. I've heard so many great things about DaVinci, Premiere Pro, of course, but for me, Final Cut Pro is what I choose to use. I also work with a video editor on a lot of my videos now, which has been really, really helpful in my workflows. But when I am editing videos, Final Cut Pro is where it's at. Beyond video editing, I use Lightroom for photo editing. I also will use Lightroom if I'm editing color for a reel or a short form video on my phone rather than in Final Cut Pro. I have a preset that I created and used and so I just use that across my different images to keep consistently. I used Lightroom a lot more back in the day when Instagram was a photo taking app, but I still use it and I use it especially for thumbnails or editing photos for a blog, website, things like that. Canva. Canva is an amazing company. I seriously love their tools so much. I use Canva for graphic design, for designing my thumbnails on YouTube. I use Canva probably on a weekly basis and recently I was hosting a workshop and I had to make a PowerPoint presentation. It was amazing. I literally told AI that I'm making a mindfulness workshop, journaling workshop presentation and it created like a template for me to use and it picked designs that were very calming. It was amazing. Canva with AI is a very powerful tool. I can't wait to see where they go with all of this, but Canva's been game changing. Oh man, back in the day, I remember making my pins for Pinterest on Photoshop. It was such a drag. I had to do a lot of Photoshop for my work when I worked for a tech startup. Man, if I had Canva back then, I would have saved so much time. My husband also enjoys making little design things and icons for Canva and he'll like throw them on there sometimes and make a little bit of passive income if someone uses it. I don't know how to find his stuff, but it's on there if you ever find like little squigglies and shapes around. <laughs> Andrew's made some of those. The last app in the content creation category is Planoly. I use Planoly to plan the Homebody's Instagram feed and we do that as a team. So each month we get together, we plan what content we're doing for the month and then we have a content creator who goes and creates the content and then I have Issa who helps design the creative direction of the feed. And I used to use Planoly quite a lot back in the day for my own content on Jules Acre, but I just don't post as much on Instagram anymore so it's just not necessary 
for me to really plan my feed. But it's just nice because you can visually see your grid, drag and drop things, write your captions in there, and it's a very clean tool that I've been using for years and it works very well. Websites. I will breeze through the section really quickly, but I use Shopify to power homebodies. So that is my small business, my online shop, and it is amazing. I really honestly wish that I had Shopify integrated for JulesAcree.com because they make it so easy to add new products, check out. If you are in a different country, the currency automatically converts. It's just really easy. And anyone that's starting a shop or an online business, Shopify just makes it very accessible and easy to do that. So I highly recommend checking out Shopify. And then for JulesAcree.com, that is on Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for many, 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 many years, and it works really well for websites and blog, but I would say adding new digital products to my website isn't the most ideal. So most of my digital products that I'm creating now are going onto the homebodies, but I do have my core products on my website, Design Your Year, which is my Notion template. That is like our best-selling template down to biz, which is my Notion template for creative entrepreneurs and small businesses and a couple of other digital products on there. For those that don't really know like the full scope of what I do on here, besides creating YouTube content, creating content on social media, writing for my newsletter, I also have the digital product side of my business. So my templates, homebodies templates, products, all these digital tools that we offer, that's a big part of my business. So Shopify and Squarespace are platforms that I'm on all the time. And what do they both have in common? They're both pretty user-friendly. So if you're starting a website or if you're starting an online shop, check out both of them and you can decide which is best for you. If you're selling a product, go with Shopify. If you're starting a blog, check out Squarespace. The last category is personal growth. So these are tools that have fueled my joy, my happiness, and just my sense of being. First and foremost is meditation and using a meditation app. I have dabbled in many different meditation apps over the years. There are so many good ones out there, but the app that I am using now that I love, that I just paid for the year is called Open. I think it is such a cool modern app. Andrew and I have been doing meditation together every morning before we get out of bed. There's a different theme every day. It's really like radical some days. It very much applies to current modern life. It just feels real and I love how their app looks. I love their branding. They apparently have a studio in LA and I would love to go visit sometime. If you're looking for a fresh take on a meditation app, I highly recommend Open. Some other apps that I've used in the past are Insight Timer, which is free, Headspace, Calm. You know, there's so many different tools out there, but Open is definitely my favorite right now. Next in personal growth is Kindle and Goodreads. We'll just group those two apps together because I am a Kindle girly. I love reading on an e-reader. As much as I love the idea of a physical book, it just takes me so much longer if I'm using a physical book because I can't see as well. I mostly read at night before bed. And so having an e-reader just makes it so easy. I put it in my purse. I take it with me pretty much everywhere that I go. And I am just breezing through books. I think it's February now. I've read five or six books so far. Right now I'm like knee deep in the last Throne of Glass book, which is like a thousand pages. And I could not imagine reading that book as a physical book. There would just be no way I'm gonna carry this giant book around. So having it in an e-reader is amazing. It's so funny because back in the day, I used to be so intimidated by big books like the Game of Thrones books or Outlander. I really wanted to read those, but they seemed so long. But since reading on a Kindle, I don't realize how long the books are that I've been reading. And most of the books I read are like 700 pages. And I just breeze through them because it's just so easy to, and I can highlight different quotes that I love, things that I wanna refer back to. It's great. Love Kindle and Goodreads. Goodreads is how I track all the books that I read. I rate them. I'm on private just because <laughs> I know people have asked for a Notion template for tracking books and I have created one before. I didn't really release it because personally, I don't track the books that I read in Notion just because Kindle is synced to my Goodreads. It automatically 
knows when I'm done with a book. I can save books to my TBR list really easily. So yeah, Kindle and Goodreads just go hand in hand. Oh, and I love looking up different bookstagrammers or booktubers and looking at their Goodreads because if they have the same taste in books as me, then I just look at all the books that they've read and what they've rated it. It's great, I love it. So those are the apps that help me get things done and make my life better, more streamlined, more simplified, creating a system that helps me get things done, reach my goals, just allows me more space in my day so I can close my computer at the end of the day feeling really good and just go and live my life. Probably sound like a broken record, but that is why I look for these tools and reach for these tools because I want to live a fuller life outside of my computer. And these apps just help me get the right things done. So thank you for tuning in for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you are going to download any of these apps, thank you again to Notion for sponsoring this video. Grateful for you and grateful to everyone who is tuning in. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.